I didn't even press the like. <laughs> I didn't press like for the other one. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Y'all let me know how it sounds. Let me know how it sounds. What's going on, people? What's going on? Maybe I can get these to show back there. It's not even showing. Can't even see that on the projector screen. Just a little bit. What's happening, everybody? What's happening? Doing a, a quick little Q&A. Get ready to ask y'all questions. Sound is very bad. Dang. How about now, Chels? How's the sound now? Is it better now? Mic check, I hope I ain't muted. How's the sound now, everybody? We sounding better, we sounding good. Everything's cool. I'm I'm too loud now? Or is it, what, what's going on? What's on Moonbeam? Too much background noise, what background noise? Okay, Instagram saying, oh yeah, also, I'm uh, I'm what you call it, I'm live on Instagram right now too, y'all. I'm trying to, you know, bring the little, trying to bring the sauce, trying to bring the sauce to both platforms. How about now, y'all? Am I still too loud before I get, before everything gets started? I'm live on Instagram and I, Instagram say I'm good, so I'm going to keep y'all the same. I'm going to keep y'all settings the same over there. I'm going to be asking questions back and forth, you know, just to kind of get, make sure we get everything going. But how is it? How is it? I hear what Chelsea's talking about. It sounds like a vacuum. Yeah, I cut that off. There was a projector. There was an idea that Chelsea and I had a while back. I cut it off. There's no point. But um. But other than that, am I, do I sound good now? Before we get things going, because <laughs> there's no point to have it going, and there's no, you know. How we sounding, Chelsea? How we sounding? What's going on, everybody? Okay, we sound perfect, not good. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the live. It's the we are strictly doing Q and A's. We are and, and Instagram. Let me know if y'all need me to switch something right here, view wise, because my iPad is very big. I got an old school iPad. Don't judge me. You know we ain't got the funds to be you know accessing stuff like that yet. But until then, um, y'all, y'all, we doing strictly Q and A. Q &A. Uh, I'm gonna be on here to probably like eight. 8 15 8 30 it depends on how the spirit move you know but um what's going on everybody i'm here for the quest. i'm strictly here for questions because normally i don't go live on instagram and tiktok at the same time and if y'all on my uh instagram just know my tiktok be popping that's all that's all i'm gonna say we be popping over here but um i'm trying to merge the worlds i'm trying to merge the worlds together and make sure we get a little bit more traction and stuff going like that but um today is strictly q and a's whatever questions y'all have for me whatever uh inquiries or whatever y'all want to talk about we're going to talk about it and do y'all notice the new lights do y'all see the new lights like well i'm saying new lights i just took the lights from my other room and put them along my door so what's up mama shack and put them along my door all right here so you know i'm living i'm trying to live my best colored life i'm trying to live my best highlighted life for the world to see the lights look good shout out to you thank you for giving me thank you for giving me a little bit of love a little bit of love you know what i'm saying instagram y'all good over there y'all good over there i see the hearts flying but uh you know I, one person said i was good with the sound i want to make sure we good what's up char how you doing char let me make sure i miss nobody else they look good thank you thank you thank you i'm on this little tripod too so excuse the excuse the um the the uh shaky shakes i'm about to put it back on the other thing since i'm not using the other little setup i was about to do Hey everybody, TikTok family showing up. We got 80 people in the thing. What's happening? What's happening? So I've seen a lot of new people too. So look, um, my name is Coach Brian. I'm a holistic coach from Southern Louisiana. Um, I talk about everything holistic. We can talk about anything. If you want to make your little, you know, if you want to make some stuff grow, if you want to make some stuff bigger, thank you for the rose. If you want to clear up some eye problems, you know, some hair problems, some hair problems, because you know, we've been doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure everybody gets to do their thing with us. Somebody on Instagram said, I've been eating healthy, but keeping myself in a caloric deficit. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm assuming you're trying to lose weight. If not, you know, uh, caloric deficit is really for losing weight and things of that nature. Or if you're trying to get back under to where you once were. But if you're not trying to do that, I would employ you to go into maintenance rather than a deficit. But if you're doing the deficit and you do, and that's what you want to do and you're getting results, good job for you. Boy, why my thumb look like that? Y'all see that thing bend? Let me see if I could do it right. Not me having a hitchhiker's thumb. <laughs> That's because I be like this on my base all the time. That thing be propped up on that pickup. So years of me just pressing on it, look, my joints didn't reconfigure. Not sure on Instagram and on TikTok. Look at, I love the families are merging. Look at the families merging. But what's happening, y'all? What's happening? Anything? What's going on in y'all life? What's going on? How y'all? How everybody doing? Y'all, y'all living good? Y'all eating good? Y'all doing good? Did y'all see my last video that I just posted? 
Oh, the series. So I started a series, right? Thank y'all for the flowers. Y'all, the flowers is coming in like crazy on TikTok. So I started a series, right? I'm trying to talk to both y'all at the same time. I started a series with um basically like the stunt, like embodying the different body parts and systems and stuff like that. And y'all been eating that stuff up. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm trying to find a way so I can make it a little bit more presentable and it kind of fits more in my agenda and like how we're gonna move things around here and there. But what y'all think about it so far? I've been having people DM me on my other uh hey what's up, Kagura? I've been having people DM me on my uh on my personal other uh, my other accounts, people that know me know me. And like they've been laughing, sending me the videos to me talking about this is the funniest stuff you've ever posted, blah 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 blah. And I, I honestly, I can't thank y'all enough, bro. Like this is this is really dope, and I'm so glad that y'all actually like it. And it's something I can continue to doing because like as much as I love giving y'all informative videos and stuff like that too, I'm a lot more than just that. You know, I like to show people the funny side, the goofy side, the creative side. And as I get better with the editing and things of that nature, and writing the scripts a little bit better, because I really don't sit down and write this stuff down. I just be like. Whatever come to mind, I play the character, I put the clothes on. Like, my them costumes still sitting over there. I have yet to put them away because I got more videos I want to do. Thank y'all for the hearts. Y'all liking up the video and everything. I want to be vegan, but cheese is my weakness. There's so many other forms of cheese you can make. There's, like, a plethora. Of, you just got to start trying different types of cheese. And once you start doing that, you'll see, like, there's a big difference of cheese you can use. Me, personally, that was one of my weaknesses, too. But now it's on off. I got an on-off switch. It's like, if I choose to eat cheese alternatives or whatever like I, i'll do that but if not you know i'll just cut it off but it's it's the reason why cheese is so hard to get rid of because it has the same you know if you ever really struggling with to letting certain things go like that just understand that you're dealing with something that's really 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 powerful let me check out some more of these comments uh i've had diarrhea for two weeks what should i do um so you can get you a banana or a plantain put it in the oven and but don't let it cook like you can cook it but don't let it cook to where it's all it's too too mushy but get it but get it real mushy and then you get a fork and eat it like that and it's gonna recoagulate all of the fecal matter that you have going on and anytime you have diarrhea that's signs that things aren't really digesting all the way and your body's trying to do a quick flush so make sure that you're taking the time to fast if need be or to detox your body if need be if you're looking for a good holistic one one that's natural you already know where to find it coachbrian.com is on my site y'all that's all that's all we do I'm feeling great. I got off with a new job. Just waiting on the background check to come back to start. So when you start your new job is the better question. And look, let me tell you something. Proud of you because I know how hard you be working and I know the conversations we be having off screen. So shout out to you for bossing up in your life and doing what you got to do. But what's the job though? Somebody said nutritional yeast and turmeric is here. Oh, that's Amber said that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to help them out for sure. It's going to, because essentially what's going to happen, the turmeric is going to speed up the digestive process and the purging process, but the nutritional yeast is going to kind of coagulate it. But the reason why I said a, a banana or plantain is because everything that that combination would do is already in the banana, but as well as like, it's less, um, it's less processed things going within your body. But that's another good alternative. You want to use that as well. Appreciate it. It's for Starbucks. Oh, you working at Starbucks? Make that money. I'm gonna have to come out there to the Starbucks in Texas. What can I do for thyroid issues? You have hypo or hyper thyroids. Cause there's two different ways to go about doing it. Would the detox cause diarrhea? Negative. My detox targets the lymphatic system, the digestive system, the cardiovascular system, and the neurological uh, system. And it's gonna make everything coagulate how it needs to. It's gonna make everything uh, enriched with vitamins and minerals and it's gonna flush you out properly. But at the same time, it's gonna eradicate a lot of those digest uh, digestive problems that people typically have. I got Yaki's kid. Yaki go hard. I was mentioning those for cheese flavoring, yeah. You know what's funny? Nutritional yeast and turmeric, even if you was to use it as a cheese flavoring or as a diuretic, it works one in the same because it, it has a sense of, I keep the word, I guess the word today is coagulation, but it, it makes everything kind of harden up a little bit more. Hypothyroidism. So that means that the thyroids aren't essentially working as hard as they need to or they're under, uh, they're under processing. So what you need to do is focus more so on high electric fruits. So a lot of citric fruit, a lot of citric fruits and so, uh, acid and sub acid fruits, if your body can take that, if not go more towards the melons, you need to do uh, probably like, I would say too, get on my 10 day detox. That'll definitely help you out for sure. And then follow that up with at least 30 days of like dark grapes 
and you can get um nettle seed or you can just go back and get and use some more of that pumpkin uh pumpkin seed oil i mean pumpkin oil if you want to and that's really going to get those thyroids back to where they need to be it's going to re-electrify the system and get everything functioning anytime your thyroids are not it's, it's all tied to the pituitary glands anyway so anytime your thyroid system isn't functioning properly typically you're in a situation to where like something is not processing right and acid is somewhere pre pre signs of acidosis and things of that nature so you need to go back and refiltrate those kidneys and those adrenal glands and target those things because that's all connected the liver the pancreas transverse colon all of that so as long as you detoxify yourself get off those meats if you're eating any any meats just for the time being if you want to go back to meats that's on that's your business but um you know for the time being do that and then you'll move forward and that'll help you out for sure what can i do for vitiligo um in those type of situations i always tell people that we have to understand that that's a that's a, a melanin cluster center problem and that's also a, a liver problem so a lot of milk thistle a lot of uh, dandelion root a lot of um you could do no not bilberry you can do um a lot of burdock root too and it's okay to take a lot of these things at one time the more you not say the more you mix herbs the better but like proprietary blends and things of that nature they typically help a lot faster than using one particular herb because if you stick to one herb not saying that it what it's not going to work but herbs are electric herbs fire off the neuron centers a little bit faster so once you start putting the collective herbs together it speeds up the process it helps you out and then getting more so on a more uh, whole food diet so people with vitiligo typically suffer to be malnourished in some way shape or form so either your, your blood quality is not good either your digestive properties are not good or either like you have some type of function or detoxification process in your lymphatic system that's stagnated or is not working properly so what you should focus on is making sure that you're eating the proper whole foods you're eating a lot of fruits a lot a lot of fruits 80 percent fruits 20 20 percent vegetables for the time being deal with that get your nutritional system back together and you'll watch you can reverse pretty much anything on that type of diet y'all got some amazing questions today i love it and shout out to all, all y'all with the roses and things of that nature i'm about to open these vents because it's hot up in here it is really hot oh jesus i'm not i'm not here for the hotness all the time i don't mind it being hot but not all the time what's going on instagram fam i see y'all building up over there too for all the new people we're doing q a so feel free to ask questions feel free to dive in whatever we just doing whatever we do y'all hop up up in here say thank you no problem no problem that's all we do that's all we do is help people i love i love to see all the new people up in here asking a whole bunch of questions what's up Cree? Cree over there on instagram y'all i saw Cree. that was yesterday i believe walking in the park and Cree walked just as fast as ever when I tell you Cree is one of the fastest walkers, it don't make no doggone sense. I'm sitting there in the dog park with my two little giants, and then he call out, call out his, ah, and I turn around, and Cree getting it. Bro, Cree is one of the fastest walkers. It makes no doggone sense. Mm. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Y'all, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Things have been changing, and things have been going very just i need a liver detox like asap pause on what i'm about to say so for La i latasha 92 if you need a liver detox go to the link in my bio i have a 10-day detox and it is all it's all whole foods it shows you all the herbs to use it is like it's a protocol essentially designed to specific especially the liver because like even though i target the digestive system and the cardiovascular system and the, the neurological system your lymphatic system is what ties into your liver so for sure for sure for sure i would advise you to go there it's on sale right now for 20 dollars. it's just 20 dollars. go there get it and then also whenever you do it tag us in it we've been trying to get people to like tag us and do like a lot of people be like oh i got it and then they dm us like a week or two later oh my god it did wonders and this that and the third and blah 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 and then like they don't tag us day to day or they don't give us like the proof and stuff like that because people want to see this type of stuff so if you already not and not the last 10 day detox no we have a detox 2.0 i haven't really been posting on instagram like i have on tiktok so you may be a little behind but if you have the 2.0 and you've done and you're doing it right now keep doing it it's going to target for sure for sure and it's going to get you where you need to be and it's reusable so feel free to uh keep on using the detox if you need and to keep it rolling what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, things have been changing for the better, y'all. Things have been really changing for the better. Um, my mental clarity has been a lot better because I've been switching up. Uh, I, if y'all know me, I'll be switching up my herb protocols and I'll be switching up my diet just to test things out. And I found this routine that I'm currently using and I'm targeting my gut because y'all know me. I've been having a sensitive stomach since 2013. Like my, the whole reason why I'm doing half of this stuff is because I started with me healing my own stomach. And when I tell y'all the change has been amazing. Like I already felt great doing what I was doing before, but like I added, let's see, 
I did a, a proprietary blend today of Damiana, Yohembe, Maca. Um, what else I did? I did uh, I didn't do Sage. It was Damiana, Maca, uh, Yohembe, and there was one other thing I did. I did oh no, two other things. I did Shepherd's Purse and I did Cayenne, and that was my herbal blend for today. Yesterday I did more of a cascara uh, focus. I've been eating a lot of leafy greens. I'm still trying to maintain my mass, even though I'm trying to uh, like I'm, I'm still trying to keep my weight where it's at, but I don't want to lose too much. So it's like, cause I'm still working out and lifting and stuff like that, but I'm not trying to go too big or too small. If y'all know me, it does not take much for me to lose weight. My metabolism is constantly rolling. But um, that's what I've been doing lately. And my stomach has been amazing. Like my, and this is just for me. This isn't like a universal thing. I just want to give y'all a quick little update. Cause I know I haven't given y'all an update lately on how my herbs work, what well, my personal herb journey has been going. But um, it's been working wonders. It's been working like wonders for my body. It's been, it's been doing so much for me. Uh, my circulation is a lot better because I have Velcro's running in my left leg. It's not a problem. It's not like a. It's not like a something that's just oh my god, you know, it's tearing me up and stuff like that. It's just it's just a big vein. But I have to make sure because the last iridology reading that I did, um, I had I had saw like the vein in my eye because like if y'all know anything about iridology, prime example, where's my chart at? Um, so when it comes out to iridology, he said I need your metabolism. No, you don't. <laughs> you got yours. Keep your deficit. Um, so the eyes can show you, and I hope y'all can see it over there. The eyes can show you exactly what parts of the body that's, um, dealing with any type of ailment or anything to be aware of. And it's not that I have a sickness or anything like that, but I just have, I've been running my whole life, cross country track, soccer, all that type of stuff. And, um, you know, just keeping my vein health healthy because it's a lot of movement going on. It's a whole bunch of movement going on. So that's the little formulas I've been using to keep my circulation going and it has been beneficial in a plethora of ways so i know for sure the circulation protocol that we have in the shop is going to be updated real soon because me personally doing that has been a big change in my diet i just been a lot of peppers a lot of uh green a lot of leafy greens um a lot of well even though corn's not really the best it's like i eat a little because i just i just really like corn even though i know it's not scientifically the best i just really like corn so uh i sprinkle some of that in there maybe a little mushroom here there some pumpkin seeds here and there and then that's a wrap what are some good ocular exercises? What helped me to get rid of my... Oh, on TikTok, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Um, They said, what they're asking, what's a good ocular uh, exercise? So for me, so whenever I developed my astigmatism and I was trying to get rid of it, first of all, the herb eyebright. I've been talking about eyebright for about two weeks now, I want to say. And what I used to do was... Let me see if I have one in here. I used to have like a marker, right? And let's just say this is the corner of the room, even though it's not. Let's just say this is a corner in the wall of my room at the top. I'll focus on... The marker. I'll focus on it to where everything else gets blurred around because I'm strictly focused on this. I'll keep it where it's at, then I'll look at the crack and I'll focus on that for 10 minutes. I mean, not to me, it's 10 seconds. Then I go to 15 seconds. Then I go to 20 seconds. Then I go to 30. And once I get to 30 seconds, I keep my head still. I look up. I stretch my eyes as high up as I can go, as low as I can go. But I move my head, of course, to the right, to the left. I do 10 circles to the right, like this. And then 10 circles to the left like that and then you repeat the process over again it's training your pupils and it's training your eyes to refocus and it's training everything to kind of not say reshape but to re-strengthen itself because our eyes are is just a coating of veins that's all it is you know and refraction going on via light so once you start getting those muscles tightened up again and strengthened again and i do it without my glasses i typically don't do it with my glasses on because i've been having the same prescription for about Going on four years, I want to say, and I've reversed my astigmatism. Next, it's to get my um my depth perception better, which it has been. It has been getting a little bit better. But, I mean, I still can't see all the way without my glasses. If I get with a break, I can still see and function. But I like seeing in 2020 with my glasses on. So until I get back to where I need to be and I fully cleanse out, like, my membrane and all that stuff back here, like, that's when the vision is really going to come back, come back. But, you know, for the time being, that's what I've been doing to strengthen my eyes, and it's been getting better year after year. It's been getting better and better and better. Uh, this is the magnetic gaze. I've never heard it called that, but I'm assuming. Brotherhood healing, what's happening, bro? I ain't seen you and I ain't talked to you in a minute. My boy, my boy Ruben in the building with your Ginkgo Biloba tree. How you got a Ginkgo Biloba tree in front of your dog on wherever you live at? And that's just not fair. If I would have had that in front of my house, the amount of, bro, my brain would just be on, on a whole nother level. The abundance. He said, I still eat pasta and bread. It'd be like that. <laughs> It's probably the worst for you, but I think it's all a mindset thing. It, it, it is, bro. If pasta and bread, it's one of the hardest hardest things. I talk about monosaccharides and polysaccharides or disaccharides, however you want to think about it. And being that it's a complex sugar, I talk and break it down a lot. Especially, uh, I did a, a big video the other day, no, a few weeks ago, excuse me, about the um 
how those sugars break down and it's going to be in the app that's dropping next month i have to finish editing that uh there's another video i just did i just remember i just remember it but um i talked about like how it breaks down in the body how it affects the cortisol levels how it affects the adrenal glands and stuff like that like a lot of people are suffering with erectile dysfunction chronic fatigue diabetes and things of that nature because their their sugars are tore up from the floor up like believe it or not fruits even though they're saying too much sugar is bad for you they're talking about polysaccharides and disaccharides they're not actually talking about like the fruits that i mean the sugars are actually from fruits because you get fructose from uh from fruits which actually bypass the pancreas and go straight within the blood and your body absorbs it faster as opposed to vegetables vegetables have a different glycemic effect it hits the pancreas it requires insulin to open up the, uh, the molecule for the sugars to go inside of there and then be processed throughout the body but fruits go straight to the system so you got fructose and um and not sucrose uh not galactose either fructose and uh i think it is galactose i'm thinking about it backwards but um that's one of that's why I say breads. Like you got to make sure you're finding like the purest forms of breads possible. But because if not, you're just gonna be stuck in that same process of constipation. You know, people that have like I used to love a lot of bread, but I find myself being constipated a lot. I be bloated a lot. I get cramps a lot. You know, but once I stopped doing that and I started putting everything where it needs to go, all of that went away. Even your skin to clear up. People, do you find that people that eat a lot of bread and pastas is like especially like grainy, grainy, grainy breads and pastas. It, I mean, in week two, it really tears up their skin and it really tears up their stomach. And once they get off of it, it's a whole nother thing. I'm going to check it out. You said, I love it. Magnetic gaze. I'm going to have to go check it out. I'm, what, tell me more what, uh, what it's about. Haha, <laughs> that tree was actually in front of my friend's college apartment, but they never knew what it was. I would visit that tree every day just to snatch the doggone leaves off of it. For all y'all that don't know what Genko Biloba is... When I tell y'all, first of all, the, the one of the most beautiful, uh, I think it was like the first or second generation tree I had saw, not in person, but like when I was doing my research, is in uh, is in Japan, I want to say, Okinawa, Japan. And it's like a beautiful like pink and white with yellowish tones in it. And it's really good for the brain. I'm talking about will take your cardio, not your cardiovascular, your, neuro your neurological system and bring it to another level. Like I used to be on it a lot because I'm left-handed. So there was points in time where I was trying to get my dexterity up, like kind of like this, so I can do it now. Um, I was trying to get up a little bit fast and I wanted to test with it and it made a difference. But um it's a, the ones that's out here is expensive. The one that we have on our uh storefront and stuff like that, it's a little bit cheaper, but I've been messing with my diet and other herbs and I just didn't feel like getting back on it. Plus I was using eyebright at the time too, so it's like it's really beneficial, it's really good. It's just not what I'm trying to use right now. But if I had a tree, if I had a plant, I would use it every day. Simply because of the abundance. Simply because of that. was they had this herb that helps the brain and they never see i just read it see what i'm saying i love when people back up what i'm saying exactly it's going bro it'll help the brain people that suffer with like strokes too like if you if you have really bad strokes or if like you suffer with like if you have a child that suffers with like brain well anybody that has like a brain disorder or like you've had neurological damage like ginkgo biloba will set you straight and then you couple that with dexterity drills memorization drills and things of that nature it's gonna tell you it's gonna tell you like to the right place what's the name again can you type it in the chat yeah i can type it in for you you're way over here. Uh, Ginkgo Biloba. I told you, look how big that iPad. I told you my iPad was big, yo. Ginkgo Biloba. Is it my, look, go to my, um, go to my, what you call it? Go to my, uh, my Amazon storefront. It's in the link in my bio. You'll see it and click it. It's right, it's right there. I want to see if I can rotate. Can I rotate this thing? Can I rotate this? It's not letting me rotate it. I want to rotate it so I can put this thing right here. But I don't want to mess people up. I don't want to mess up y'all view. Oh, well, it be what it be. As long as y'all can still see me. Bro, this is a great, this is a great live. Oh, let me tell y'all about one of my clients today. So I had a, uh, I had a follow-up. If y'all know me, when it comes down to like personal consultation and stuff like that, I always love doing follow-ups with my clients at least seven to 10 days at a time to make sure that everybody's working how they need to and moving how they need to. You're welcome, baby. Uh, and doing what they need to. I have this client, right? Um, I'm not going to put too much of her business out there, but she suffered with a lot of postpartum things. I'll say that because it gets very, very, very personal what she's going through. And I don't want to do that to her. Uh, but it ain't even been four days yet, y'all. And she's sleeping better. She's a lot of other things is, is alleviating itself a lot better. She's been doing better. Like her brain fog has gone away. Like she's like people, people around us like, oh my God, your mood is different. And this, that, and the third, I can't do what you are doing. That's hard for us when all, and in all actuality, they're just not disciplined enough and they don't want it that bad. Cause I even told her, I was like them same friends that are saying it's too hard. Let them be in the life or death situation that requires them to do what you're doing and they'll do it. But regardless of the fact, um, 
she's been having like not, it's not even been a week and a lot of the dietary switches that we made a lot of the herbs that i put on and she started off with what she's starting off with my uh with my 10-day detox with a few modifications she's going to do the 10-day detox but i want to put her with different types of uh herbs to like kind of fit more of her needs a little bit more personal personally and it's it hasn't even been four full days and like she is a whole nother person y'all that's why i keep trying to tell y'all herbs are electric the things that we put in our body if we keep it electric and we just keep it like balance everything in a in a balanced type of situation we will be good like you can heal yourself naturally i don't need to be on all these medications and all these other pills and stuff like that what's some herbs and fruits gonna do like they're not gonna give you these crazy side effects that medicines and all this other stuff do it's gonna keep you balanced it's gonna heal you it's gonna do what it has to do but you gotta want to do it you gotta want to cleanse like even though we may look at it like it's crazy if you take 10 days out of each month and detoxify yourself most of the problems that y'all have, they're going to go away. Most of the, the problems that other people have that, oh, I have this chronic, this, that, and the third, and this genetic, this, that, and the third. You take at least 10 days a month to do this to your body and do this to yourself. Watch the difference. Watch the difference. You're going to be a whole nother person, bro. A whole nother person. Take it from somebody who used to suffer and is fixing itself. Let's see. Trying to hang out on that number one spot, huh? Oh, I just see Mama Shake on the, uh, she doing the, hey, if y'all don't know about how TikTok works, so you got, like, the amount of likes and stuff like that and gifts, like, it puts you in certain, uh, like, viewer rankings on the on the live. Mommy, there had, I don't think there's been a day where Mommy Shake has lost, when she's trying, when she's lost a, uh, a live yet. Do you know of anything that helps with tobacco addiction and cravings? Yes. So, when it comes down to tobacco cravings, we have to, okay, so, whether it be smoking it, chewing it, and even with with uh with with the tweed, um whether it be smoking it or or you know chewing it, however you want to consume it, the one for one, I'm not against the natural ways of consuming it orally because when you burn it, it cha it literally changes the chemistry of the actual substance. So the ash and the smoke and everything like that, it hits the lungs different. You know, it, it processes through the body different. It ages you a lot faster. It deteriorates and stagnates a lot of your systems as opposed to you doing it the right way. But if you are addicted to something like that, a lot of milk thistle, a lot of um, a lot of dandelion root, a lot of pumpkin seed, a lot of uh, a lot of pumpkin oil. The reasons why I made the 10 day detox was because it gives you a clean first step. And it'll help with stuff like that because not only is it teaching you discipline, but it's showing you a light, a nice and easy way to detoxify yourself and wean you off. Because the only reason why you're addicted to whether it be tobacco, whether it be um, uh, different types of sugary foods, whether it be like uh, processed this, that, and the third, your body is having a hard time getting those things out. So it's going to crave what's just what it's rebuilt. Because you got to think about it, the body rebuilds itself every so often as far as like every two to three months. You have basically a new body because all the cells are new all over again. So whenever you're addicted to something, you're made up of that thing based off of what you're eating, what you're what you're recreationally doing and things of that nature, whether you're drinking, like it all makes up all of you. So the one of the main ways that our body detoxifies itself is via the liver, the kidneys, the adrenal glands and the pancreas, things of that nature and your colon, of course. So a lot of those things typically need to be flushed out herbally. So I would say go grab my 10 day. Um, my 10 day 2.0 and then follow that up with a nice uh mono fast. you can do like grapes you can do um you can do uh oranges you can do uh apples things of that nature and it's going to flush you out for sure and, re and really really good because it gives you a, it's a different type of stimulant you know like you're stim you're being stim over stimulated and you're becoming addicted to it simply because you're being remade of it so give yourself that time and that process to win yourself off of it and you'll be good What's a good herb for energy? I have anemia and take iron, but it does nothing. Okay, so here's the thing about anemics. Let's let's break down anemia, right? So the cell is typically stuck. Everybody's cells sickle. Let's just keep let's just keep put that on the table. Everybody's blood cells sickle. So whenever it starts to sickle, we're typically in active states. We're working out, we're pressing, we're pulling, we're benching, we're squatting, we're doing something, but then it unsickles. As the body is moving, the blood is moving and getting its, its, its job done and the production is moving up and up and down, right? So whenever we are anemic and then we are lacking energy and things of that nature. So if you're anemic, your cells, I mean, your blood cells stay in this sickle like st uh, state. And when it's being reproduced because the blood, the blood is reproducing itself constantly based off of what you eat and things of that nature. So what's essentially happening is your body is having a hard time reproducing those things. Your body is having a hard time recoagulating. Your body is having a hard time re-energizing yourself because blood is the life of the body. It's the vitality of the body. So a lot of panic ginseng, 
a lot of dandelion root, a lot of milk thistle, um, a lot of fruits, especially like berries. Berries are really good. A lot of melons that's going to rehydrate the body and get off that meat for a little while. A lot of uh, dark leafy greens that's going to put you exactly where you need to be. And that's going to help you out because when you're anemic, not only is it a blood problem, but it's an adrenal gland problem. Your adrenal glands is what's in charge of your adrenaline and your energy throughout the body. Even though the gallbladder and the liver stores up to eight amount of extra eight hours of extra energy and to be used just in case those things typically need it they shouldn't be relied on all the time so it's your job to make sure that you have a very 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 good sense of whole food dieting well live it rather than a diet because we don't want to die um but it, it gets you to where you need to be you know and it, and it puts you right where you have where you really have to go so i would say push more in that direction oh and chlorophyll chlorophyll water too you'll you'll find like a big benefit a big benefit in everything Let's see. Can you help with fibroids? I have a heavy flow and anemia. Thanks. So the same stuff applies to you. The only difference is when it comes to fibroids, I would say um, you can use more cat's claw too. That really helps with that. But it's more so about, because let's talk about a fibroid. And I'm not trying to scare you when I say this, but I just want to give you the facts. So when it comes down to fibroids and things of that nature, it's more so on a precancerous stage. Not to say that fibroids equal cancer, but it moves in a cancerous-like state. It's another form of acidosis. All of this stuff is a form of acidosis because acidosis is systemic. So here's what acidosis, let's take another step back before we come back to the main problem because in order to get to fibroids, you have to go through these steps. Your body has to go through these steps to get to that. So the first step is the body and the kidneys cannot really dissolve and get things out of the system how it needs to, right? So we need to start with the kidneys. So now we're filtering out the, we're filtering out the kidneys and getting those things going, right? We're eating a lot. What's up, Moss? Uh, I need to talk to you, Moss. Um, we need to start uh, hydrating ourselves. So less solid foods and more fruit juice, cold pressed. Cold pressed uh, fruit juice, not from concentrate, not from pasteurized, cold pressed. Even if you got to get a juicer and do it yourself, start juicing a lot of melons, a lot of berries, a lot of a lot of uh, acids and sub acid fruits, a lot of sweet. Like make sure you're getting those things like that. What's up, Khan? Oh, uh, just make sure you're getting a lot of things like that inside your system. And then that's going to help with the process of passing those things, because now the acidosis or the systemic uh, nature of acidosis starts to diminish. Right. So now the kidneys can filtrate. Now the adrenal glands can function right now. The cortisol levels can go down. So now the body can get things out and dump it inside of the gut and you can use the bathroom properly and give it out. Because the reason why you're having a heavy flow is because the fibroids are probably either. There's, so, there's like so many different types of fibroids you can get. But depending on which type of one that you have determines on why the flow is like that. Nine times out of ten is within the tube, it's coagulating things, and it's probably, it's probably tearing things up in there and clogging stuff up or it's sitting right on top of the uterus, and it's causing these little fissures and these little, like, I wish I had a picture so I could show y'all. Um, I had a picture somewhere. Um, isn't, isn't my thing. I can't do it. I'm about to uh, get a whole nother picture of it. I wish I could show y'all a diagram. Next time, I'm going to show y'all a diagram of it. But just imagine it being on top, right? And it's causing the veins to twist, turn, and it can't function properly because what the body can't get out think about like a scab it's just scabs on the inside of the body so if the body can't get it out it's going to put other things around it to coagulate it and to keep it together and to make sure it doesn't get out that's why when people go surgically get fibroids remove our tumors and they get those things out they're like oh my god it stinks or it looks like this or it has little features on it like this it's all precancerous the way tumors form is the exact same way those things form so your thing your your process should be to get on herbs that not only shrink it and get it out but get on a diet that actually or live it i should say that helps you to move those things out your system and to get you moving forward as a person because if you don't do that then you're just going to reaccumulate they're going to get bigger you know it's going to all that type of stuff it's, it's not going to be good uh, da, 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 da. she said boom 6k likes i'm out see you next time bye kagura you have a good one she probably already gone kagura is one of my good friends from college y'all Uh, Moss, Justin, oh God, my bad, y'all. I, I answer a lot of stuff. I'm trying to go back to love this. Thank you for teaching us. Anytime, that's what I come on here for. And all the people, I'm seeing new people on Instagram too. Y'all ask questions. Like TikTok beating y'all right now. Ask questions, <laughs> or if y'all just hit or watch me teach, that's fine too. Um, what's the name of the fire broad that got fangs and eyes? It's not really fang. Okay, so let me break that down too. So for all the people that don't know, I should. Man, hold on. Let me find a picture. I want to show y'all. I like showing people better than I can tell them. Let me show y'all what this stuff even looks like. Because, like, I, they have plant, bro, look. So, while I'm doing that, let me explain. So, like, fibroids, they're saying fangs, but it's really, like, there's really, um, there you go. There's really, like, it's really teeth. It's not really fangs, it's teeth. And I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm almost there. Give me a second. 
So essentially what's happening is the fibro fibroids are typically found with like in the uterus area, right? So if you, especially if you're somebody that's trying to have a child and stuff like that, the reason why people that have a lot of uh, PCOS problems and fibroid problems, which are hand in hand is because it's blockage. Everything I just said, blockage, toxicity, acid, all that type of stuff, life can't form like that. But the life that tries to form when it's mixed with other life-giving substances, it has human-like features because it was trying to form. It was trying to be conceived and things of that nature. I forgot the name of it exactly. I'm looking for it right now. I know how to find it. But um, and and, fair, and trigger warning, y'all. It's 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 graphic. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's it's pretty graphic. So close your eyes for like a, a few seconds, and I because I want to show people what this stuff look like. But and I'm gonna tell y'all when to close your eyes. But yeah, just I'm just letting y'all know right now. It's pretty graphic. It's pretty graphic. I'm trying to enlarge the picture real quick. Once again, y'all, it's trigger warning. So y'all can close your eyes right now if y'all don't want to see this type of stuff. But for the people that do, here it is. So you'll see it. They'll cut open the fibroid and it'll look like that. You'll see hair, you'll see teeth, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff like that. And for my Instagram people, that's typically what they look like. And bro, look, they they exist. They're like they're there for a reason. We have to flush our systems. We have to do right by our bodies. Y'all can open your eyes now. <laughs> Any book recommendations to learn more about self-healing and health? Um, I have some. So I just got this one recently, and it's not holistic. I'm going to get to some more holistic books. And we did this. Uh, Matter of fact, oh, I'm not even going to show you. Go to my YouTube at Coach. Oh, it's not up yet. My bad. It's not up yet. I'm, 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 I'm going to show you now. But just for the record, we're going to be posting the... Um, we're going to be posting the YouTube. I mean, we're going to be posting on YouTube the live that I had with, with uh, Blessing B the other day. We had we broke down books, we broke down information, we broke down everything. It's already technically uploaded. I just gotta finish editing the thumbnail. So by tomorrow it should be up. Cause Chelsea, she just she literally just sent me the uh, thing before I got on live. But one book you can get is called um, Nutritional Science. This is the third edition. Um, this is from uh, Fundamentals to Food. Now it's not a holistic book, but it's one of the books that um, that I got recently. It's a collegiate level book, so you're gonna be paying over a hundred dollars for it. But the information that's inside of it is phenomenal. Another book you can get. I got books everywhere, y'all. Hold on, let me go grab another one. Another book you can get is um, one of my personal favorites. It's um, the complete textbook of holistic self-diagnosis. And all of these books are in our Amazon storefront under books. So if you don't remember anything I'm saying, click the link in my bio. You're going to see Amazon storefront. Go to the book section. And pretty much almost every book that I read and have, it's in there. Like, it's, it's there for y'all. Reading is fun to mental. Fun to the mental. Trans what? Oh, transgenial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transgenial neuralga. Hold up. Because all these new acronyms, they be making all this new type of stuff and they all be meaning the same thing. Trans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we didn't even let me finish typing it in. They say thank you. We'll check it out. Most definitely. Most definitely. That's what we do. That's what we do. Should know about more pain. Third. See, I hate they be saying stuff like that. All that is is more neurological type of problems. I would say you can definitely get on some stinging nettle root, a lot more berries, and you can get on um game. We just talked about ginkgo below, but that's crazy. You could get on some ginkgo below, but that's definitely gonna help you out. Cause all of that, all that. Now you good. It 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 auto corrected. Um, but that's typical, that's neurological. That all starts from neurological problems. Not to say that your system's out of whack completely, but like it's definitely going to help you out for sure, for sure. Yo, do you have parasite detox or is it just a protocol? It's a protocol. Yeah, it's a protocol. All of, everything in my shop right now is digital. It's all information that's all digital. We don't. We're about to start doing some more physical stuff soon, but and I'm not gonna spoil it. It's stuff we gotta work out. It's stuff we gotta get through. But there's some, gonna be some physical stuff coming soon. But right now, everything is all protocols and stuff like that to get y'all something y'all can reuse and actually put inside y'all brains rather than having to rely on somebody else for it. I'm new here. Well, welcome. Welcome to the party. My name's Coach Brian. I'm from Southern Louisiana. I'm a holistic coach and I help people out. We're doing a Q&A. Anything you want to know about health, anything you want to know about the body, anything you want to know about anything, if I know about it, I'm going to talk about it. I don't know at all, but I try to help out as much as possible. Instagram, how y'all holding up? How y'all holding up over there? <laughs> Let me wave at some of y'all. A lot of people up in here, but I ain't, I ain't wave at none of y'all. I'm sorry. I'm up in here chit-chatting and talking. Let me move that over here. There it is. Boom. Guy health, please. Oh, gut health. 
So what about, what what in particular? Cause that's my little bit more of my specialty because I used to suffer with stomach problems. So what what particularly are you struggling with? So we can dive in a little bit more. And y'all try to be a little bit more specific with y'all questions because if y'all say gut health and I start talking about everything, I'ma lose y'all. I'm letting like, you know right now it's a lot we could talk about. So speaking of gut health, I gotta use the bathroom. But I got I got some more time. Stomach pains. Um. Okay, that's still broad. I'll say this, because stomach pains could be a lot of things. There's a herb called Cascara Sagrada. That herb will put you on the toilet in a good way. It's not going to hold you captive, but it's going to, it's a stimulant because it's going to help the stomach get things out. Anytime you start having stomach pains or things of that nature, try to detox first. If you want to, well, you should, honestly, go to the link in my bio and get, um, and get uh, my 10 day detox. And guess what? That's going to purge you out. It's going to help you out. And if that's still, if you've already taken that first step, and if you're still somewhat having those stomach pains, you need to go on a wet fast. So all fruit juices and things of that nature and give your stomach a chance to heal. And if you're still having problems after that, that might not be your stomach. It might be something else that's glandularly or have an organ that's kind of out of whack. And you need to go see a doctor and get some blood work done because it might be something else. I've been taking herbs with spring water. I am out. Would distilled water be okay? Chelsea said he does, he prefers distilled water. And I sure do. I drink spring water from time to time whenever I can't get my hands on any distilled water. But um, distilled water is the way to go. I feel like it's one of the most purest forms of water because of the distillation process. Honestly, with the way things have been being contaminated lately, you're welcome. Uh, with the way things have been being contaminated lately, it's like unless you're getting the water from a spring itself or you know for sure the place that got the spring water and things of that nature, like you know how they function and stuff like that, then by all means, go by it and do it. But if not... And you don't know the sourcing of it and how it's been processed and things of that nature you can't go wrong with distilled water because distilled water is actually highly uh it's highly filtrated so what's essentially going to happen is it's going to get a lot of that uh it's going to get a lot of those impurities out of it go through up the aluminum cylindrical tube go into a compressor tube and then go into another tank the purified water the form of it's going to come out of it and that's the one you will be able to drink and it goes in and pulls minerals it pulls toxins you mix that with chlorophyll game changer game changer Anything for focus in ADHD, ADHD. I have an ADHD tea recipe in, on my shop, that, in my shop. Go to coachbrian.com, I'll click the link in my bio. And when I tell you it changes the game, I'm not somebody who has ADHD, I guess on a severe level, but I have to tend, make myself focus sometimes. So I make sure that I'm really in a place of like disciplining myself, but also taking herbs if need be to help me. And it, it hasn't really been that bad. It's more so I just have to be productive. My brain just doesn't stop. That's just what it is. But if you're somebody that's like me or has another form of that, I have a tea recipe for that. You should be drinking that two to three times a day and couple that with a lot of berries. Berries are really good for the neurological uh, process. And you probably have too much processed sugars inside your system or uh, polysaccharides or disaccharides. So give yourself a flush. Do my 10 day detox. Get all that stuff out your system and give your body a, a first step. What about some natural sleep remedies for kids trying to decrease melatonin intake tremendously? We should not be taking melatonin. I be telling that to people, we should not be taking melatonin. That stuff tears up your neurological system and you become dependent on that and that messes with the, the uh, growth stimulation of children. Um, do cherries, about 15 to 30 cherries for sure. Um, you can definitely do my 10 day detox. I have a lady who was one of my other clients. She, um, she did like the 10 day detox for what it was and she slept 10 times better. But if you don't wanna put the kids on that, and if you don't, and if they're not old enough to do it for sure, um, I say a bunch of cherries, a bunch of berries, and make sure that they're having a, a lot less sugar and a lot less meat. Because even though they're kids and things come out a little bit faster, they have a harder time processing sugars because it's like it's designed to kind of keep them in that little mode. So try to make sure that they're eating as whole as many whole foods as possible. And like somebody just said, ashwagandha. If you do ashwagandha too, that'd be real good. But I wouldn't give that to kids right now. Like if you do very 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 small dosages but honestly going the berry route going the cherry route making sure that they're hydrated with food fruit juice that's cold pressed get them away from caprisons get them away from welsh's get them away from kool-aid and all that type of stuff get them away from pork and heavy meats and put them on more of a high fruit volume uh diet you'll see a big change especially in boys you'll see a big, a big change spirulina is a good detoxifier i prefer chlorophyll over the, uh, spirulina but it is one and the same it pulls the metals the micro metals inside the blood it pulls it out and it puts you in a better state of being and it helps your blood reproduce it reoxygenates the blood and it gets you on a whole nother level cardiovascularly and if you're somebody that's working out try to do push-ups every single day with burpees or you could just do push-ups alone 
The more push-ups you're able to do, and if not every day, every other day, the more push-ups you're able to do, the better your heart rate is going to be, the better your cardiovascular system is going to be, and you'll have a lot more benefits than just that. Coach, I miss you. It's me, Cool to the Beat. I changed my name. Yeah, I noticed that. I saw you the last time you was up here. I noticed you, you had changed your name. I, you have a very memorable face. So once I saw your picture, I was like, oh, I know who that is. And I miss you too. Glad to see you up on here. And think, hey, she's somebody. If, let me see. Can I go live with her? Let me see if I could go live with you. Because she's somebody that did the uh the detox and did. Hey, do you wanna um do you wanna do you wanna do like come on here and talk about your experience with the 10-day detox? Cause I would I would love for you to give your testimony because I know you did it and you saw tremendous benefits. But before I put you on, just uh give me the thumbs up. I don't wanna just hit the add button and then you don't wanna be on here. But she's somebody, y'all go follow her. She's somebody that did the 10-day detox. I think she still has the videos up, if I'm not mistaken, and it was very beneficial, extremely beneficial for her. Y'all have some amazing questions. Moss, I miss you, Moss. I see you liking the video. I miss you, Moss. We have to talk. You're not in trouble. We have to talk. I haven't talked to you in so long. Let me make sure I'm not missing out any other messages on here, too. Okay, cool. She something likes. I guess not. We got a little bit more time, y'all. We got about like roughly 15, 20 more minutes. Because I'm trying to hold back the the uh the things that's trying to come out of me right now <laughs> i don't know what it is about me going live around this time for some reason it's like some days it's a hit and miss my body just be ready to get stuff out much love much love much love thank y'all a lot of new people too a lot of new people man what's going on how y'all doing how y'all feeling how y'all been it's a lot of new people and i'm here for it let me see who else up in here I wish Ava could go live, but she can't go live. I wish Ava could go live. What's up, Julian? What's up, Janine? What's up, Mama Shag? What's up, Thomas? I'm glad to see some familiar faces in the video. I did hear the herbs. Did or didn't? Did you hear the... Okay, there you go. Cool. Let me add her. You're invited. Man, I must have a crazy big lag on here. I asked that question like three, five minutes ago. Check your invites, uh, key to the beat. Check your invites. You go to the, uh, you should have a request button at the bottom. Ava, what's up, Ava? Ava, go to TikTok. Go to TikTok. Go to TikTok. If you still up in here, go to. Oh, what's up, Ava? Yeah, key. Oh, what's up, Ava? Yeah, Keisha. <laughs> Hello. Uh, and you gotta go down to the bottom too, and um. Where is it? I got to find a way to flip this. And um, cut your camera on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me figure it out. Ava. Oh, shucks. Ava, if you still up here, go to TikTok. Mm. Ava, my dog, y'all. It was one of my good friends. I got some fussing to do at Ava soon, but yeah. <laughs> You got it. It should be at the um, it should be at the bottom. I'm gonna get off of this because they're not even doing nothing on uh, Instagram. It's showing. Okay, cool. so at the bottom, it's just giving me the options to either share or. I think it's it might be the share button. Okay. Let's see. If it's not the share button, it might be uh, I'm trying to see what's his name. Uh, Ruben. Ruben had showed us too how to do it. Ruben has showed us how to do it. Hey, Ruben, if you're still up in here, oh yeah, go to under multi guest. Go to multi guest, and then you should okay. see the settings for your camera. I okay. would love for them to hear about your experience. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to open up TikTok on my other uh my other device so I can what you call it so I can at least see the comments because my comment's going now. Okay. There she go. I am. Hi. Let me go. What's happening? In the middle of the night, look. <laughs> How y'all doing? Now, them, them teeth look white. Ah. I, need your, I need your routine. Them teeth looking white. <laughs> I do um the oil pulling. Mm -hmm. What you tell, what you, I do what you preach on here. So mm -hmm. I'm here for it. All that. I do the oil pulling. But yes, I did the 10 day detox and I don't, I do still have the videos up, but in one of the videos, um, 
I don't know if you remember when I was like, there was something that came out in my bow, in my BM. That's that exactly why I wanted you to get on here and talk about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now that I know that it was, it creeped me out, but it was a lot. And I'm mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I need to go back and redo the cleanse. Yes, but I know that yes. you have some that has revamped, so I'm going to check that out. I'm going to go on the yeah, website that's the, that's check the it one. out. That's yes. But, yes. Um, I dropped 10. Like I, I think I dropped a total, what was it, 12 pounds? Yeah, you lost a good bit of weight. You lost a good yeah, bit of weight. Yeah, I, I dropped a lot. Um, Because I had went through a weight loss stall, and I had, it, it broke. It broke the stall. Mm -hmm. So... But I love the detox. I wasn't hungry. You, ha it, I was full with your your regimens. Um, the and being talking about the older ones, you could tell them all. The, you could tell them whatever you want to tell them because they they ain't got nothing on the new ones. But you could. You could oh, tell I them. gotta get the new one. <laughs> the um, mucus bluster in the morning. Oh, that was that was something. Like I would be coughing it up, sneezing it up. It would come out every mm -hmm. hole in your body like you're mm -hmm. like why am i so slippery everywhere mm -hmm. it's gonna get all that stuff up out you i'll be trying yes. to, see i'll be trying to tell them but now i got somebody that can just keep going keep going yeah <laughs> but um yeah so on the regimen you had the times you had what you're supposed to eat the recipes um it was the first time of me ever doing the enema oh mm -hmm. my goodness game changer huh Game changer, Game changer when I say after you know, after you had that, I think it was the eight o'clock uh, or nine o'clock meal, and you did that enema and you took your your pill at night, my stomach was flat, flat. Mm -hmm. All my bloating, it, I, I felt like the Michelin man when, before I started. <laughs> Stop but when I was finished, <laughs> when I was finished, I was like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. but. I highly, I highly recommend it. I got to do the new one. You got to yeah, do the improved one out. Yes, I got to, I got to, I'm going to check it out today. Most definitely. So why, why other than the amazing reasons that you didn't told us so far, for all the people that might be apprehensive and stuff like that, to tell them why you feel as though they should do the detox. Um, I feel that they should do the detox because why not? I mean, it jumps. Thank and you. I, like I said, I don't know. Coach Brian from Adam. I live in Ohio, Cincinnati. And I'm way in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> so I just stumbled upon him scrolling on TikTok and I said, let me give him a chance. But when I did it, I saw results. Like, no joke. Um, it cleaned me out. I felt clean. I literally felt clean. There is a difference from eating the um, the standard American diet and stopping. The sad for, diet. Yeah. <laughs> And stopping for the, that short amount of time, I really felt, I felt like I could fly, if mm. that makes sense. I felt yeah. so light, like I felt like I could fly, but I wasn't, I didn't feel deprived. I felt satiated, like, I felt, yeah, if that and makes if you sense. you feel that good on the last one, the new one, it's like, mm -hmm. I, I, I'll say this, it's more lenient. Not really lenient, but it's like, mm -hmm. things away is like, it's really on like that next level of okay, I can cleanse my body mm -hmm. while not feeling like I'm on a detox, but still pass what I need to pass and heal what I need right. to heal. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to go get that tonight because it's like, it's, I'm telling you, it's a it's a game changer, bro. Like it's on a whole yeah. other level. Yes, perfectly. I love, and it's not like um, you know how some people do. Um, a water fast and it's just they just lose water weight. No, like I literally had to go buy. I just in my video so they can go back on my page and look at. I had That's why I tell them go follow you. Go yeah, follow I had you, to go man. buy. You, you talk new, about it. I had to buy like a, a new bra because I went down in my um bra size because mm -hmm. I I I worked out with it because like I said you don't feel hungry or like you're deprived because you're not depriving yourself. Exactly. I couldn't even finish everything that you put in there to eat. Like I couldn't finish all the food. So I was, you know, so it was, it was awesome. It was amazing. How has, um, how has your health been since? Um, my health has been great. Um, my skin, I don't have any makeup. I, 
need to go wash my face. I was about to go lay down, but my skin, I don't have any pimples, no blemishes. Um, I still try to keep close to it as possible. Like the diet, like I try to keep as much as the dairy out and a lot of the sugar out. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but my health has improved. Like I'm running, I'm doing stuff that I never thought I could do. Like I was with my trainer today and we was working out hard and, and I just, I, I got through it. I feel better. Like I game changer. Like it's something that you have to do is you can hear me talk about it till I'm blue in the face, but you know, I would say, why not invest in it? it? It's a game changer. And it's something that you can always reference to. So once you make the investment, you can always go back and reference to what you bought from Coach Brian, you know? Finally, somebody that listens. Some, somebody <laughs> that... Like, I'll be talking to... And the, and the thing I loved about your experience, because you already know how it is. Me and you had conversations about it. Yeah. People will do it. But they don't they don't talk about it. They don't tag other people. They don't mm-hmm. put it where it needs to go. And I'd be sitting there like, y'all, people need to hear this type of stuff. Cause like yes. I mean, you know how you know, especially you know how we is as, as us. It's like mm-hmm. if you don't see a whole a bunch of other people doing it, well, I'm not doing that. I'm not messing with right. that. I don't, I don't know this, that, and the third. But then like the more people post about it and tag, I'd be like, Y'all look, like I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to heal. You know, right. because like there's people I was talking, I don't know if you was in the live earlier. There's a client I got right now, like it hasn't even been four days. She's sleeping better. A lot of yes. her personal issues is going away. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, you can't, mm-hmm. you can't beat facts. You can't beat results. Right. You know? And your clarity. Like, I work two jobs. I work in a hospital and I work um for a mental health services at um from home. But the mental clarity that I have. Like I work with psych patients. So the mental clarity that I have from dealing with that is none like no other. That's why I said I'm going to have to reference back to it Mm -hmm. because I felt my best during that detox. Mm -hmm. They're going to listen eventually. They're going to get on the train eventually. (laughs) Yes. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it not only does, yes, the weight loss is a benefit, but there's other benefits such as your mental clarity. Like sleeping, those are those are things that you can't buy in a bottle or you can't buy in a At store. All. So, I mean, yes, I'm here for it. I'm so here I'm, for it. But yes. you, know, you you have no idea how happy it made me to see you in this live, and then you were yes. able to talk. And for all y'all that don't know, this was not playing at all. Like she was just no, and I'm like, literally getting ready yes. for better. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Because look, <laughs> if I was coming on here, I was gonna have makeup and everything on. But no, I, I'm. Oh, we know how you move. You don't. You don't miss a beat. <laughs> I'm literally. You don't miss my... a beat. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas, got my hair wrap on, so I was not expecting. But and also, like, I want to. I got your pumpkin seed oil. I got your um. I went on your Amazon shop. I got that. And I got um the Buddha teas. I got that. Mm-hmm. So which one you got? I, I got the elderberry one. Oh yeah. Your immune system about to be. Yeah. Especially with that little spike they've been having around the area. Your mm-hmm. immune system about to be A-OK. I bought your and um I've been using your pumpkin seed oil on my stretch marks. And let me tell you. Talk the- about it. <laughs> How you said, Let's go. I remember you said take your shower and you're supposed to put it on when you come out the shower and you rub it in. Cause I got let me grab this bottle. Hold on. Come on with the proof. <laughs> hey. 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 Let's go. But here it is right here. I bought well, you got the you got the expensive one. I'm here for it. Well it's not expensive, expensive but you know, you got the good one. This is the one. one from your website. From your mm-hmm. um, you, got the, you got the good one. Yeah, so I said, let me not look like I have a tie dye on my stomach this summer. <laughs> Don't tiger strike. <laughs> so it has been working. I'm gonna have to do a video. You a fool, boy? <laughs> no, I'm serious. My stretch marks are. Whew. But this, what you, the regimen that you said to do with this, it works. Tell them. I try to tell them. Not did you do the motion as far as like I don't well I don't think you need it, but like as far as like for the breast area too, you've been using it that way or just only for that area? I use it for my I use it for my whole upper torso everywhere. 
But like yeah, you said, I used a lot because you said it does stain. So I do it right when I come out that hot shower and I push mm -hmm. it on, like you said. Mm -hmm. And I'll be on your shop. I'll be like, what Coach Brian got on here today? Because he always, he got something different. He gonna add. So. Bro, I'm so. <laughs> I'm so. I hope you know this going on my TikTok. Like, I'm going, like, as soon as this over, I'm going to screen record half of this and I'm going to be posting this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, my hair not done. My, I got a I'm going to put, put a filter on. I'm going to put a filter on. Coach Brian, you should have told me, like, hey, come on on this day. I didn't know you was going to be on here. If I would have known, I would have yeah. you know, let you know ahead of time. But, yeah. look, you were supposed to be here. You were supposed to be here. Yes, I was. <laughs> but for anybody who's teetering, look, I am, I'm just a little girl from, not a little girl because I'm 32. My mom up in here. <laughs> my mom up in here, y'all. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, mom. Thank you for bringing your son to to us. He has been helping us. Okay, getting us fine for the summer. I've been trying. Hey, look, I've been trying to teach him the truth, mom. I've been doing what you've been telling me to do. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want to, if y'all want to see how my mom, how hype my mom is, and where I get my energy from, if y'all scroll down on my uh on my TikTok and y'all see like the the when I was doing Chlorophyll Water Jungle Juice at the time, she was she made a whole rap for it and did and freestyled it on the spot. So y'all go check oh, that out. I got I bought your chlorophyll too and I got the eye bright also. Oh please just just do updates. Just be tagging me in your updates because okay. I'm here for it. I'm oh, here for it. Um, I could I can go grab those if anybody wanna see them. I got them. I got the eye bright and I got the chlorophyll. I bought those from your Amazon shop. So, but this I made, this made me happy. <laughs> Huge fan, huge fan. You have literally changed my life. So I rave about you. I'm look, I'm appreciative and I'm glad that you actually stuck with it because yes. people don't people do a lot of this and they don't do a lot of this. So I'm glad mm -hmm. that you actually stuck with it. And you and that's the thing, for all you that don't that don't know, she been you've been with me for some months now, I wanna say. Yes, yes. Yeah, I so have. you've been practicing all the stuff I've been teaching. So mm -hmm. you about to go to as like I said, as I move up, y'all move up with me. Y'all already yes. know how we move. Yes. So totally love you. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming on the live. Look, we're going to end it. I'm not saying nothing else after this. We ended it on this note. We, we <laughs> have to end the live on this note because nothing else we're going to talk about other than yeah. it, like proof is going to top what we just talked about. So look, yes. if y'all got any other questions, uh, my live with Blessing B is going to be up by tonight, if not tomorrow. The, this live in particular should be up by what today is Wednesday. I want to say by Friday because I don't have rehearsal Thursday. So by Friday. And y'all just come with it. Y'all make sure y'all go on my YouTube. I will be posting up on TikTok too. Shout out to you for being out here. And thank bro, nobody but God. Thank you for being here and being able yes. to like spread the just spread the word. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If y'all do, if y'all go get the detox or anything, tag me in it. Make videos. Like my like I said before, the things we're about to do. And the things that I'm putting for it as I pray about it and meditate about it and study it and stuff like that, I'm trying to change my community. I'm trying to change my people. I'm trying to heal everybody. And I'm trying to, as men, look, I hold myself accountable and responsible for all of y'all. I can't be out here just, oh, this is the trending thing to talk about. Let's talk about it. I like to give y'all facts. I like to give mm -hmm. y'all experience. I like to educate y'all. And as I grow up, y'all go up. But listen, I love every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for sharing y'all time with me. Shout out to you for being on the live. Man, I, this is divine timing. Shout out to you for being on the live. And yes. I'll catch y'all later, bro. I'll catch y'all right, later. All right, thanks, I, Coach. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Bye.